Hi, welcome to episode three of the Skills Lab. Today we're actually going to be going through the NEARS test, the test for shoulder impingement. And I was observing what was going on in the lab today and I saw a lot of people performing the NEAR test by just bringing the arms straight up. And I can understand that because a little way to remember this special test is to call it the near to ear, which makes sense. However, there's really a lot that's going on to make this test work. So if you watch her elevate her arm over her head, you'll notice that, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> this is my daughter. So, the, <laughs> so about the first 90 degrees is taking place in the glenohumeral joint. Remember the glenohumeral joint is where we are trying to get that compression. For about the next 30 or 40 degrees, most of the motion is actually coming from the rotation of the scapula. And then after that, it involves components of the acromioclavicular, sternoclavicular, and thoracic spine. So you have to localize the movement to the glenohumeral joint and the way we do this is by stabilizing the scapula. So the scapula being V-shaped fits very nicely between my thumb and forefingers. And I just kind of jam my fingers right up onto there to hold the scapula. And now when I raise, you can see that she's got a limitation there. If I let go, she continues to get all the way up. So you have to stabilize here and then get that and now you're getting glenohumeral impingement and even though she has a nice healthy shoulder it's like I can feel the resistance within the joint when I do that so try that stabilize the scapula make sure you're isolating to just the glenohumeral joint and see how that works for you don't forget to like and subscribe